Not since the horrors of the Black Plague has our land seen such despair. Almost two millennia after Sigmar founded the Empire, the realm is fractured and broken. Three rival factions claim the Imperial Crown, Marienburg, Middenheim, and Reichland. Lure of power brings the armies of men against one another in a seemingly endless tide of battle. An island of peace in a sea of conflict, Mordheim drew wealth such as the city had never seen into its walls. But with its prosperity came the corruption of arrogance and hedonism and greed. The gods could not long abide the outrages of Mordheim's populace. In the heavens, an ill star appeared. A great, twin-tailed comet that some priests warned was nothing less than the Hammer of Sigma. They preached tidings of doom and repentance, but their sermons were ignored. An attitude of rebellious revelry gripped the city as the comet grew ever nearer. The grand festival to celebrate the turn of the year was a mockery of the apocalyptic prophecies. It was then that the hammer fell. The fiery comet plowed through the city, gouging a deep crater in the midst of the poor quarter. The wondrous palace of Count Steinhard was broken. The grand amphitheater shattered. The vast great library blighted by a pall of ash. Fire and smoke decimated the populace, but worse awaited the survivors. A malignant corruption that brought with it mutation and madness. The vile taint of chaos. In the shattered city, strange green-black stones were discovered. Strange energies emanated from these shards. Warlocks and alchemists experimented with these word stones and soon determined that their uncanny properties could work wonders. Word stone could heal the sick, regenerate the old, or even turn base metal to gold. Lust for Wordstone focused avaricious eyes upon ruined Mordheim. Treasure hunters descended upon the city, vying with both mutated horrors that claimed the ruins as their own, and crusading zealots who sought to prevent the taint from spreading. Inhuman creatures filtered into Mordheim, staking their own claims. An endless pilgrimage of the greedy and ambitious fighting and dying in a place now called the City of the Damned. Just another day in the City of the Damned. You have been paid a great honor by our lord and master, Count Vlad von Karstein. Among his subjects, living and undead, it is you who have been entrusted with this important task. I wonder if you appreciate the enormity of the task ahead of you. The master expects much from you. I can sense your suspicion of me. It is true that I once served Queen Neferata, but... It is in the halls of Drakenhof that my loyalty is now bound. Do you see this ring? It is Count Vlad's token, his sign that Baroness Katarina von Dernsbach is his vassal and agent. Beware, for I am his eyes and ears in Mordheim. 
What I learn, the master will know. Look upon the ruin of Mordheim. The mortals fear this desolation. Only the bold or desperate come here to scavenge and steal. Only the most fanatical come here to claim this devastation for their gods. The earth, the waters, even the very air have become tainted by the dark energies that have wrought this destruction. Nothing that lives can linger here long without being transformed in either flesh or spirit. Such concerns matter little to us. Our magic will sustain us against the malignity of the ruins. For the danger is little when set against the reward. The power that lies scattered about Mordheim offers a key to feats of necromancy not dead since Great Nagash walked the land. Littered about the ruins are the weird stone shards, vessels of incredible arcane energies. In the hands of Count Vlad, these shards will transform the world, tearing down the fractious realms of men. Your duty is clear. Find the weird stone, and you will have a share in Count Vlad's mighty ambition. Fail him, and I promise you will find there is no escape from his rage even in the grave. It is a great distinction that Count Vlad pays you. Your name must be held in some regard in the cobwebbed halls of Drakenhof. The Master has seen fit to reveal to you some small measure of his intentions. Know that Sylvania is a desiccated land, a withered thing that cannot sustain the ambitions of the Von Karsteins. To prosper, we must expand into more vibrant lands, where the blood is young and fresh. The Empire is fractured, province set against province. Every arrogant noble proclaiming the crown as their own. Never has there been a more propitious time for conquest. But the master is wary. Present the squabbling mortals with a common enemy, and they will unite. To guard against that eventuality, Vlad would reconstruct the great ritual by which the necromancer Van Hall first drew the undead legions from the plague-ridden soil of Sylvania. The Master would raise an army unseen since the days of Nagash. The first step to rediscovering those lost secrets is in Mordheim. Baron Lothar von Diel, the treacherous apprentice of Van Hall, left a journal of his experiments. That tomb eventually found its way back to Lothar's relations in Mordheim, eventually to be consigned to the city's great library. Vlad wants that book, and securing it is the duty that has been imposed on you. Secure it, and you will enjoy Vlad's favor. Fail, and there will be no peace, even in the grave. The library is defended by the old curator. Since the Cataclysm, he has become both a deadly sorcerer and a deranged madman. Defeating him will mean breaking the arcane wards he's placed in the library, and securing the magical staff he carries. Be vigilant as well for funerary records. It will be useful to know where Mordheim's heroes of old are entombed when Vlad raises his armies. A new round has started.
A new round has started. New objectives added. Objective completed. Thank you. 
New objectives added. Objective complete. A new round has started. Objective completed.
A new round has started. New objectives added. Objective complete.
A new round has started. New objectives added. Objective completed. New objectives added. Objective complete.
A new round has started. New objectives added. Objective completed. I have looked through the records left by Lotha Von Diel. The necromancer may have betrayed Van Hall and slain his master, but he certainly had a facility for detail when it came to writing down his arcane The cipher will be an easy enough one to decrypt. The true peril will lie in determining if Lotha left any magical pips woven into his rituals. That challenge, however, will be left to others. For now, you have done what the Master required of you. It is to be regretted that the Curator couldn't be drawn into Count Vlad's service. His magic and knowledge of Mordheim would have been a valuable asset. Certainly there are spells by which his spirit might yet be called upon to serve. But it is always an uncertain thing to treat with the ghosts of the mad. One can never be entirely certain if the bindings will maintain their hold or if enough reason will remain to them that they can provide anything of value. We shall be content with his staff. It seems familiar to me, though I wouldn't care to speculate why just now. A bit more study may reveal its secrets. Perhaps it will prove a prize as valuable as Lothar's journal. The funerary records you've recovered are of more definite value the famed and feted dead of six centuries and more are laid bare before us. Their names, their deeds, and most importantly, where they are entombed. Knowing the wards and rites by which their graves were consecrated will make breaking the hold magic a simple matter. When it becomes needful, the greatest warriors of this city's long history will rise from their coffins to serve the legions of Sylvania. For now, secure more Weirdstone. It will be needed to fuel the mighty necromancy that will bring the Empire into Count Vlad's thrall.